history where you also said that let's start from where we have left, let's start from 1999. Yes, I think the, the record of his dealings with India is a mixed one. As you've just mentioned, Mr. Nath, there, there have been good moments and there have been less good moments. But in the course of this campaign and immediately after his uh, victory at the polls, he has made it evident that he wants to develop relations with, with India, for which the, the motivation is not just uh, a sort of woolly one, but because there are very concrete, solid reasons uh, for uh, Pakistan to look to India for its own advantage uh, and its own benefit. I think that con can constitute a uh, uh, solid basis for looking to better relations. Already uh, we've been talking about some of the trading capacities and trading possibilities. Mm -hmm. And I think that the economic uh, relationship can be strengthened very ra rapidly. But that's one, one part of it. Uh, he has, uh, uh, India has responded mm -hmm. very uh, uh, warmly to, to the election. There have been, what, what is to my mind just as significant is that the special envoy, India's special envoy for talks with uh, uh, Pakistan has already been there even before the swear, swearing in. Mm -hmm. So the desire to resume uh, uh, discussions, and in this case, maybe back-channel discussions, mm -hmm. uh, has been expressed. And this, to me, is the way in which uh, important subjects can be handled in a serious manner. But, but do you think a lot will depend on Mr. Sharif's relationship and control over the military? Because even in the past, we have seen when um, uh, Mr. Sharif tried to initiate talks with uh, India in 1999 also, and after that we witnessed the Kargil War and then the coup uh, by uh, Parvez uh, Musharraf. Uh, he's always been victim uh, uh, of the army. So at this stage also, if he really tries to initiate any sort of peaceful ties, because in his first speech in the parliament yesterday, we saw he did not really talk about the Taliban or about his ties with India. Watching public forum. In this edition, we're talking about Nawaz Sharif and uh, what's the road ahead. This is what we'll be discussing in our final segment. So, trust deficit and prisoners of history, two major challenges when we talk about India and Pakistan's relations. How India should engage with Pakistan in the days to come, and also will Nawaz Sharif be in a position to have optimistic or what you call positive ties uh, with uh, India when we know that not much has been done as far as the 2008 Mumbai attacks are concerned. Uh, the government is uh, asking uh, for uh, uh, Hafiz Saeed. Uh, the Pakistan government uh, so far hasn't really responded. Mr. Uh, Heather, your comments because uh, for long, uh, be the opposition parties in our country, they said it's time to shun soft diplomacy because Indeed. we know post uh, the Sarabjit's uh, yeah. Uh, I don't think we've engaged in soft diplomacy with, with, with Pakistan. These are matters of internal politics rather than uh, uh, of bilateral relations. Really. I think that our position with Pakistan has been very clear. Our cuts to uh, Taliban insurgency. Several important challenges for Nawaz Sharif and can the new Prime Minister counter these challenges coming back to you uh, Mr. Heather if you look at few of the figures I have it says power cuts can last up to 18 hours in a day in uh, Pakistan in fact uh, as far as uh, there are analysts also saying Afghan authorities the Afghan government the current Afghan government or the one that comes in next right, so you're year saying, they will to prove, do so. to prove themselves victorious they will actually need Pakistan no they have to cover their backside right. as, they're, as they're retreating uh, need each other but uh, Pakistan at this stage when Nawaz Sharif was campaigning he kept on talking about this anti-American feeling within the citizens of the country and also that a uh, US uh, should stop drone strikes in uh, Pakistan it remains to be seen what will be the equation of Pakistan and US in the coming days but it's now time for us to take a short break next time we come back we'll also talk about India Pakistan relations how how, does in, how India will engage with Pakistan in the coming months. Stay tuned. So Nawaz Sharif signed a landmark accord in 1999 uh, with India, which was uh, undermined uh, by a Kargil war and then also a coup uh, in which uh, Musharraf uh, took over. Your uh, comments, uh, Mr. Heather, about what uh, coming back of Nawaz Sharif uh, as Prime Minister uh, in Pakistan means for India because we have a history where he also said that let's start from where we have left, let's start from 1999. Yes, I think the record of his dealings with India is a mixed one. As you've just mentioned, Mr. Nath, there, there have been good moments 
and there have been less good moments. But in the course of this campaign and immediately after his... ...into a short break. Next when we come back in our final segment, uh, we'll ask our panelists what's the road ahead, uh, how things will shape up in the coming days. Stay tuned. Welcome back. You're watching Public Forum. In this edition, we're talking about Nawaz Sharif and uh, what's the road ahead. This is what we'll be discussing in our final segment. Three, two major challenges when we talk about India and Pakistan's relations. How India should engage with Pakistan in the days to come and also will Nawaz Sharif be in a position to have optimistic or what you call positive ties uh, with uh, India when we know that not much has been done as far as the 2008 Mumbai attacks are concerned. Uh, the government is uh, asking uh, for uh, uh, Hafiz Saeed. Uh, the Pakistan government uh, so far hasn't really responded. Mr. Uh, Heather, your comments because uh, for long... Uh, be I don't think that we've... Because engaged. we know post uh, the Sarabjit's uh, yeah, death... I don't think we've engaged in soft diplomacy with, with, with Pakistan. These are matters of internal politics rather than uh, uh, of bilateral relations, really. I think that our position with Pakistan has been very clear and uh, will remain...